Well, because in, um, as Sue mentioned, in about a week it's going to be the 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings, which took place on June the 6th in 1944. Um, one person who won't be at the 80th celebrations is a chap called Jim Radford, um, who was at the age of 15 the youngest known participant in, the, in that operation. Um, he died in 2020 at the age of 92. But um, at the 1970 anniversary, uh, he sang a song at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, and that song was inspired by a visit to the beach at Harmanche in about 1960, which was the beach codenamed Gold in the operation. And uh, there he saw children playing in the, the remains of an offshore harbour. And that brought Jim to tears. Because back in the day, he'd been on a deep sea tug that had helped to build that harbour, the so-called Mulberry Harbour. In fact, Jim's ship, the Empire Larch, was one of the first ships to come under enemy fire on that day. Um, and it didn't receive a direct hit, and that was lucky. Many other vessels did. So after they had completed their mission, which was to tow wrecks across the channel and sink them to form the basis of this harbour, they began a rescue operation, picking up severely wounded, dying men from other boats, and the Empire Larch's galley became a makeshift hospital. Jim was required to administer morphine to those wounded and dying men as they gathered them up and steamed back to Portsmouth. Uh, sorry, steamed back to Pulham, they were based in Pulham. After the war, Jim became a folk singer and a peace activist. And the song that he sang at the Albert Hall meant viral. If you haven't seen it on YouTube, you should take a look. It's a really incredibly moving song. I'm not going to attempt to sing it the way Jim did. I wasn't even born when it either happened. So instead, we're going to sing it to Jim's memory. And at the end of the song, we're going to go into a silence where we can all remember, if we choose to, those who lost their lives at the Normandy landings. So no applause at the end of the song, please. <coughs> And they built a harbour there 
Mid shot and shell they built it well And history does agree Why young men died in the swirl tides Off the shores of Normandy Now for every hero's name that's known A thousand died as well on stakes and wires in the ocean swell And many a mother wept that day For the sons they'd loved so well Many who catch the smoke and crack the joke As they storm the gates of hell As the years went by, Jim could still recall All the men he saw that day Who died upon those blood-stained sands Where now the... So now, let's follow the drum into a short silence And remember those who lost their lives on the beaches of Normandy.